Hello and welcome to Teletness.com's YouTube channel. I am pleased to have you with me. Today we are going to talk about some of the few ways you can save on healthcare as a healthcare provider in Ghana. So without further ado, let's begin. Ways to save on health as a healthcare worker in Ghana is really scanty. Can you imagine I lost my hair trying to find some of the ways? <laughs> anyway, I found three ways I'd like to share with you. First and foremost, I know you may have already noticed that you get malaria twice or more times as much as you get any other condition. This means that not acquiring malaria actually will save you some cash and the trouble of having to visit the healthcare facility. Undoubtedly, most people do not like sleeping in a mosquito net. Some feel uncomfortable because uh, they've had a bad experience sleeping in a net, which is because the type they, they slept in was medicated and their face ended up hurting. It does happen, especially if your body comes into contact with the mosquito net during your sleep. So I have been using a good option. I won't say a better option, but a good option. Though it won't really work in the open because I'm talking about mosquito spray. I am not a fan of sleeping in mosquito net and using a mosquito spray in my room has been helpful. However, I also noticed that most people do not fancy that option because of the way they use the spray. Some people even end up buying the wrong spray. You know, people do have the perception that mos the, the, the spray weakens the mosquitoes. And so after a few hours of sleeping, the mosquitoes are strong again and then they begin to attack. But actually using uh, the mosquito spray the right way uh, saves you from that. Using the right spray and spraying the right way actually kills. No, it murders. No, it actually assassinates the mosquitoes and also other insects. And um, like I said earlier, if you spray the right way, it also prevent uh, other respiratory conditions. I have tested and I know one of them that really works. If you look at the screen right now, you will see heavily insecticide spray. That is actually what I use. And this other picture shows some of the mosquitoes. What you actually see are mosquitoes. And a few cockroaches that I sprayed and have died. And um, well, this actually is not from my room. <laughs> it was just a test I was doing, and yes, I was able to kill. Just sprayed once, left them there, and then that is the outcome. Okay, I will tell you something that happened one time. Uh, I work in a remote area. And one night I woke up, I woke up in the middle of the night and went to turn on my light. All of a sudden I saw ants everywhere. Ants. They were just everywhere. Fortunately, they hadn't gotten to my bed. I had never seen anything like it before. I don't really know how to explain this for you to understand. I got scared. You know, if, if there were some leftover food anywhere, the mosquitoes, uh, sorry, the ants will usually gather around the food or they will go to the spot where the food is. But th this was different. <laughs> and <laughs> actually, after that night, too, I have not seen anything like it happen here again. You just take a look at this picture. It was after I had, uh, <laughs> shall I say, conquered them. <laughs> and swept them out the next morning. You see, <laughs> when I woke up that way, I had uh, heaven insecticide spray. 
so i took this spray and then i sprayed them they were on the wall the floor everywhere so i just had to spray everywhere and it was late so i didn't want to go out of the room you know heaven actually uh, has a, a, a nicer scent and it's, it's not really as intense as some of the mosquito sprays i've smelled before it's it's kind of better even if you stay in the room though it's better for you to go out well back to the story so the picture you saw i actually sprayed them and the effect from heaven is usually a little quicker so i started i saw them starting to fall off the wall and dying so i went back to sleep left them and what you see is a uh, when <laughs> but i got it the next morning so actually this option i'm talking about using this spray is a is a very good option that is if you have the right spray for me i use heaven and it's very good so i actually recommend that you also use heaven insecticide spray because it works it is one that i have tested and i know that it works so that spray actually saved my sleep and i might just say that it saved my life because hey <laughs> well anyway i have heard uh, many people complain about how mosquito sprays give them qatar and other breathing deep causes yeah me too this makes spray a bad option for them so what i usually do is to spray when i'm going to work or when I'm going out and then uh, I come back later by then their scent might have subsided mosquitoes zero in the room plus when when the intense scent is out you get this fragrance like scent in the room so that is a plus for me and um, before you say that this is some kind of advert for having insecticide spray no i am not advertising i am only saying this because i have used the spray and i see it beneficial because it has helped uh most of the times i have zero mosquitoes in my room sometimes i see one or two that is when i open the gate at night then i have to spray those one or two years i chase them and spray them that's what i do okay so enough of this spray let's go to the next point point number two on my list is nhis health insurance you may not know that you get to pay just as gonna say this as an active sneeze contributor but yes if your organization be it private or public pays SNIT for you or you pay SNIT on your own, that is you pay SNIT for yourself. You can be an individual and pay SNIT for yourself, yes. If you do that, then you qualify to pay six Ghana cities annually for renewal of your SNIT instead of the 28 Ghana cities. Sometimes the right amount for active SNIT contributors is updated automatically, so uh, you, you, you try to pay using the phone and you realize that it's 60 days you don't know how come <laughs> well that's because you're an active snit contributor it's usually automatic for those who work uh, in a public sector they say the government workers but when you are a private worker you're also entitled to this though most of the times it is not automatic you have to get it set up for you if you are still paying 28 Ghana cities, but an active SNES contributor, there are steps you can take to correct that. That is to first check if you have linked your Ghana card with your NHIS. The USSD code to do that is star 929 hash. Then you select option four, which is to link your uh, SNES and then the NHIS card. You'll be prompted to enter the NHIS sorry the ghana card first the ghana card id number first so you enter that without a hyphen so if your 
your number is gym h a hyphen or dash 714 and you remove the hyphen and just type gene h a 714 then you enter the rest there is another hyphen to the end you remove that one to send and then the next thing is to also enter your nhis number and then send you should see an alert dialog after that which would either tell you if the linking was successful or if you've already done the linking or perhaps if it was unsuccessful you should see that the if you haven't seen where this is going then <laughs> the next thing you have to do is to also link the ghana card with your snit so you merge the ghana card and the snit uh, actually this was required that we do some time ago so i know most people have already done that but if you haven't done it the ussd to do that the ussd is a code to do that is star 711 star 9 hash i have put that on the screen yeah so you do that the option one is to merge the nie and snit number you so you send one then you follow the rest of the instructions it's actually self-explanatory just read whatever the phone says and then enter that code for example it will ask you to enter your snit number first do that the next uh, might be the nhi uh, sorry the nia number you enter that as well then um when you are done with that you can check to see if the amount you are paying is now six cities go back to using the ussd star 929 hash and then option two is to renew your membership but usually if the membership is not due like it's not like one or two months close to your expiry date it doesn't allow you you don't see how much you pay unless you are almost due for renewal that's when you see um, this might not work you might finish linking and do everything and doing everything but then it will still not work in that case what you have to do is to visit any nhis office and then present them with both your uh, snits card and then the nhis card and tell them you want to renew your nhis when you do that they are going to do the linking for you that's one and then two you get to pay the six cities so when you do that you save 22 ghana cities for the year 22 ghana cities i know most people will say the whole year 22 ghana cities what is it if i don't even go i can pay my 28 that's true if you choose to do so fine but consider it this way if you have three kids and a wife let's say two of the kids are above 18 that is 28 times three that's the two kids above 18 and then the and your wife three of them plus yourself so you'll be paying that much in a year <laughs> at least you may want to save on yours and your wife's that is if your wife is also an active contributor that's 44 cities in a year if in any case you are paying for your your kids the two kids or maybe they are working in a private institution or maybe they are even working in a public institution and they are also saving you see that that becomes a lot of money there's four people saving so 44 times to 88 Ghana cities in a year that's something now consider your family is even larger than that then you would want to save right <laughs> all right so just try save on your health this is very important the next point on my agenda is free life insurance i have sent this free because it is practically free <laughs> however this is for a targeted group that is uh, nurses and midwives and even with that it is for those nurses and midwives who choose to fail with a union that provides it 
that is UPNMG, the Union of Professional Nurses and Midwives Ghana. They are those who provide the free life insurance cover for their members. And I am still saying free because they don't pay any extra amount. But when the need arises, they get paid the amount that uh, they are due. Initially, the, the, the group insurance policy by uh, UPNMG that was signed with Enterprise Life covered hospitalization for three days and more. So you'd have to be hospitalized for three days and more to qualify. The death of a member, though we don't pray for that, and it also covered the death of their closest relatives, like a spouse, parents. But now it covers critical illness. So when the uh, national president was speaking on it, I think he mentioned cancer. And um, so let's 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 take a case scenario. We'll be listening to the president very soon, but let's take a case scenario. So imagine you've been admitted to uh, the hospital on account of malaria and you've been treated with IV atesinate. Now, IV atesinate is not a free drug. It's covered by NHIS, but partially. So even if the facility, the detaining facility has it, you would have to top up. And if they don't, you'd have to buy it from a store the complete course of treatment usually takes three different doses. And now for an adult, you can take a lot of it. Uh, when this happens, you're buying it from your own packet. Or maybe you are topping up, like I said earlier. So just imagine after the treatment, a union says, oh, you've been admitted for more than three days. We are giving you this amount of money. And the money is counted based on the number of days. So we are giving you this amount of money to help you cover for some of the costs you, you, you bought in the hospital. Now, just imagine that they've given you that. What if you don't get that at all and you are bearing all that cost alone? And what if you get any critical illness? Now, initially, cancer used to be something that we had more of uh, within the whites, but now it's in Africa. More and more cases are coming in. So it might be wise if you took advantage of it. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> okay, so let's listen to the national president uh, on the insurance policy. It's an enhanced policy from the first one that we had because the previous one we actually did not cover the children, we didn't cover critical illness and so on. Now the hospitalization cover has been increased. The children, four children from each parent has been added to the cover. Our spouses, our uh, parents, and most importantly, critical illness. Because well, in recent times, we've had a lot of complaints, a lot of um, reports of nurses having cancers and so on. So for enterprise to agree that we can cover critical illness is a very, very great deal for us. And uh, we hope that the members will take advantage of this and uh, they will benefit greatly. Welcome back. It has been my pleasure having you join me today. Thank you very much for listening or for watching. Stay tuned and please our next release will be on the benefits of exclusive breastfeeding. So you can just hit the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever we release an update.